The coral reefs around Point Sampson are one awesome dive. The corals are superb, and one day I have to dive on them, but not today. Today I've talked Rick from Point Sampson Charters into letting me fish around the islands on one kilo tackle, the lightest line I could find. Yep, yep, oh, no mist. Now this is some exciting fishing. We've come over here to a little coral island, sand that way, water that way, coral in the middle. I got the one kilo and a whole bunch of little gold lures, river to sea sheds and these helco scorpions. And I'll tell you what, I'm one kilo, I'm not at land much in here, but me and Peter are gonna have a great time. Oh, it looks like a little queenie, Pete. It is. He's some friends, there's some friends with him. Got some buddies. If you're quick. Oh yeah, there they are. Come on. They want you. They Come want on. you. Come on. Look at them all in here. That's a big one there, Pete. Look, the one around me now. Look at this. Yeah, got him. I got him. Here he comes. Ooh. This is why you need your leaders. Fantastic. Now, queenfish are very, very, very spiky and inclined to hurt you. So, be real careful how you pick them up. Right on the edge of the corals, there were so many fish. The only problem was working out which one you'd hooked. Ooh. Oh, how did he miss? Oh, there's a big one. Oh, no, there's another one gone. Got him. You got him? Oh, nah. Oh. Sport fishing on taffy, mate. He had it in his mouth. You got him that time? No! Oh, look at him darting all over. Oh, miss, miss. Oh, I got him. Got him. Hey! <laughs> got him. Better one, too. And yes, let's just get through those queenies. Oh, buzzing it. Look at him. Buzzing it, buzzing it, buzzing it, buzzing it. Buzzing it. Got him. You got him. Well done. Come on. Flagfish, I'd say. Do nothing, stop it, bang on. It's oh, a trick. Great. This is when gear becomes so important. I've got light tackle, but I've joined the light line to a 20 kilo leader using a double uni knot. This protects me from the coral and the fish's teeth, at least a bit. They can land him. He's a few with him too. Is there? Yeah, he's got these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's stirred up his brothers and sisters. Something else down there amongst Have them. Have a look at this. Have a look at this on the flats. Coral trout down there. See, one kilo line still does have a fair bit of zing. The beauty of fly fishing, a single hook, right in the jaw, easy to let go. Little I just love up. these things. I reckon I'll put them in my top two or three fish, just for looks, excitement, the whole package. Come out quite easy. If you can catch him. Just like that. And barbless hooks, as we always say on the show, out comes one. Grab the second one, <laughs> and back she goes. Okay, the small fish were loads of fun, but I wanted something big, something to really test my skills and gear around the sharp coral. Oh, Crazy. it's a, a, it's a nice mackerel. mackerel. There's a couple of them. Oh, oh one done. kilo, one kilo. <laughs> oh yeah, this is really going to be possible. Oh, that's Look at the bait fish oh, going everywhere. There's a few around. There's a few around. Yeah. There's a few here. They're Trebs. Oh, there's Trebs, there's Mackies. There's Mackies, there's everything. I'll just squeeze underneath it here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got about a kilometre on this and I'm going to need it all. Oh, look at them down there. Where's my white lead head? That's what I need. <laughs> Trusty old lead head. What's <laughs> going on here? Oh, uh, that was yeah. A Mackie, I think. Oh, it was a Mackie. Yeah. He came like a bat out of hell. Head on. Did it pull? It did, I think. Pulled the hooks. Pulled the hooks. <laughs> the reef was sharp and the tackle was light, but I was determined to land one of these Mackies. Just one would do. We set off to find them, and I sat down and tied the best leader knot of my life. We couldn't find the school, so we picked a likely looking piece of reef and worked the lures over the top. Soon enough, the school found us. Oh, he's a nice fish, too. Oh, no. What have I done here? He's coming swimming at me. Well, that's one good thing. Well, oh, now he's not. Oh, good luck, Steve. Yeah, thanks, mate. See you in... A month. A month? In Morocco. 
Mm. Oh, well, he's. Uh, we started in Point Sampson. I think he's probably about Port Edmund by now. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm going to land this. <laughs> yeah. I've actually got 500 metres of one kilo on this. Come on. Now, as he's going down, I'm going to back the drag off a bit because it's going to put more pressure on the line. Oh, don't swim around coral, mate. Go on. Don't swim around coral. Give me half a chance. Oh, I don't like the feel of that. What even, like, gave me the inkling that this was a sensible thing to do? I'm sure you egged me on, Pete. I thought you just needed another obstacle in your way there, Steve. Mm, yes, because it's not hard enough. Actually, he's only just here. See, the gentle the persuasion can sometimes put you in the ball game. Rick, can we nudge up there? He's down deep, but I don't need to hit this bommy. Out and around to port. What worries me is a coral down there. Oh. Uh, uh, gently does it, Steve. -o. Gently does it. It'll be a while. That's enough. That's enough. Neutral. Well, at least no monots are okay. So you can tie one kilo. Oh yeah, there he isn't. There, there he is. is yeah. Yes, just a flash then. Ah, oh, and there he goes again. Doesn't feel uh, as active as he once was, though. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Just... Oh yeah. Famous last words. Oh no, that's definitely a bit of a slowdown. What bad little blue, black diamond, blue stone brim rod, eh? Hey? They caught the brim reaper. Caught the mackerel mauler now. Oh, that's coral. That's coral. Oh, that's coral. I felt. There he's oh, on the surface. He's on the surface. He's just getting tired. He doesn't want to go down. Oh, don't get away from that. Actually, have got some control. Did you get this in, Steve? My shout tonight. I'll tie you up on that. Okay. <laughs> Tomato juice is all round. He's a sharky. It is. Good sharky too. Nice little shark mackerel. Yeah, yeah. I had a feeling they were sharkies earlier. One of them's blitzed me. At least we've had this one on for a while. If we can get around it, Pete. I'm in, a sh I'm in with a show. I'm in with a show on the one. You are. Fabulous, fabulous mackerel. Called shark mackerel because of the, the smell and the flesh. Very much monia rich, like a shark would be. What do you reckon, mate? You got him? Oh, tell me you have. Oh, well done. It's tomato juices all around. Speak to me, arm. No, seriously, that black diamond rod, Pete, Honestly, that is a brilliant bit of work for it to be able to land a fish of that quality on one kilo line around the rocks here. That was a good capture. And look at that, the lure just came out. Well, a bit of light tackle fun around the bommies here in Point Sampson with Rick again. There's the pointy end. Beautiful fish. Put him back and end our light tackle mayhem, mate. <laughs>